Hello everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. Well, it's not the best in talking entertainment right now because we've had another opt-out. Sam Beal has decided to forego the 2020 season. Oh, this is interesting because of the fact that I had even projected Sam Beal to potentially lock down the other cornerback slot. And with him opting out, it kind of leaves the Giants in a very precarious situation. Now they're going to have to rely on Corey Ballantine and Holmes. And, and you know, and, and I, I'm just not um, I'm just not feeling it right now, guys. I mean, with him opting out, that really and, – and the un, un, the unresolved situation of DeAndre Baker, it's almost like where do we go from here? I mean, it's um, – it's it's one of those things that seems like every year the Giants get hit with something. And this time, of course, COVID was unpredictable. I, I honestly did not uh, foresee or see anything in the news about anywhere that Sam Beal would, not, would opt out for the season. But it's almost like a one-two gut punch. And with him opting out and having to rely on Ballantyne and Holmes, that's... That does not fill me with confidence going into the season. And with the limited pass rush we may have, that could really impact the secondary. I mean, because you were really looking at then just James Bradbury and on the other side, uh, hope, and a, you know, hope and a prayer. You know, it reminds me of the old St. Louis Cardinals, you know, spawn and sane and pray for rain. Because um, I, I don't see, you know, maybe home. I, I projected homes more into the slot. Um, I figured Ballantyne was going to be in the mix maybe to play between the slot and third quarterback position. And a lot of people are forgetting Julian Love. Uh, Julian Love, to me, of course, he played slot corner at Notre Dame, and I think that he can fill into a position. I don't think he is a starting corner. Um, the thing is, and I find it interesting that Joe Judge, during his presser, his presser today, said, you know, we basically said at one point in this coach speak that we got a lot of guys and they are, you know, a lot of guys with a lot of different abilities. So, and like we said before, we are going to play a situational defense. And, and that's kind of what he, um, you know, that's kind of what he alluded to that, you know, it's going to, every, every, we have a lot of players in one position, but a lot of players have different skill sets. Now, the, the 800 pound elephant in the room is going to be Logan Ryan. And Logan Ryan still remains on the market. He's he's now more. I think he's more of a more of an attractive player. Um, this you know right now for the Giants. I think he may be waiting to see what happens after the Thursday deadline for opting out to see maybe where he can go or may, where he could have the most fit. Uh, we did pick up some extra cap space, not only with the Nate Solder lock uh, drop you know opting out as well, but. You know, we we found out that the league was, I think, going to give us an additional four million or six million. I don't remember because of the prorated bonus. Um, I'm not anywhere near my computer to be doing this or taking a look, so this is kind of just off the cuff as well, off the cuff as usual. Um, so we would have some additional money in cap space. Logan Ryan may be a player that would be interested in taking a one year a one year deal with the Giants, only because of the fact that if he can come in at a high salary for that one year, if he can come in twelve fourteen million. I think that would be attractive to him because where he at, where he's at at his age and his career, um, and if it's an opportunity to start and potentially lock into a long term agreement, I do think that Logan Ryan could be uh, could be interesting. Could be an, it could be an interesting asset for the Giants to look after. But like I said, with Beal going out, it is it is it is a loss. And most people are saying, well, Beal only played like six games last year. Yeah, but he was counted on. Not counted on, but he was counted on to be be in the mix for that starting cornerback position. But like I said, is it detrimental? It's it's in some ways worse than an injury because of the fact that injuries usually come unexpectedly. And while this was unexpected, there must have been some rumblings around Giant Camp that this was going to happen. Because if not, I can't think that... You know, the day the camp really opens, that the player just all of a sudden decides to opt out. I could be totally wrong on that because everyone's different in their mindset. But I have a feeling that this may have been floating around a little bit. I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's going to destroy the team. I, I you know, because Sam Beal opted out, I do think that it's going to make things a little bit more difficult. 
And if we can't figure out how to get a pass rush going, you know, I do think that it could be um, it could be an interesting situation to see, you know, who is going to step up. I personally think Julian Love is just going to slide over. Um, you know, it's funny. We we now want to hope now more and more for a uh, a quick resolution on the DeAndre Baker situation. I think he's innocent now. I think he's innocent. Let's get him in camp. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know if he's guilty or innocent, but um, I um, it, it is it is interesting now that we are looking at DeAndre Baker in some ways as a savior. That if he is, does get out of his legal trouble, that he's going to come and save the Giants secondary, which I think is hilarious right now. It's funny in a bad way. Um, but like I said, I think Logan Ryan's an option. Julian Love's an option. Corey Ballantine and Holmes. You know, we still have some players. Are, are, are we losing depth left and right in some ways? I think we are. But you know what? we got to kind of see what happens. We're going to kind of go from there. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants breaking news, sports talk, entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you could ring that bell, I think you know what that means. That'd be awesome.